Well, we, we uh, and this is the fire chief here. So, uh, thank you. Um, at just before four o'clock this afternoon, we got reports of, of shots being fired at the mall. Um, we immediately, uh, the San Bernardino Police Department immediately responded and found two victims that had uh, suffered apparent gunshot wounds. Um, they've since been transported to transported to a local hospital um, and are in stable condition. Um, I can let the fire chief talk more about their their medical condition if, if you if you uh, um, are interested. Sure. Um, based on our initial investigation, it doesn't appear that this was like an active shooter in a, a random um, uh, kind of instance where somebody went in there and just randomly started shooting at people. We believe that uh, there were um, uh, two or more persons that were actually uh, shooting and that they were shooting at other people um, with some type of intent or purpose. Um, and so that's where we're at right now. We're, we're conducting a, a systematic search of, of the mall, um, the surrounding parking lots, and we're also working closely with BART since at, there's access to a BART station there. Just to make sure I'm clear, those two people, were they shooting at each other or they were teamed up going after other people? We don't, we don't know that. They may, may, may very well have been shooting at each other. As you can imagine, it's a chaotic scene and we're going to have to kind of map out the scene to see exactly what their intent was um, and, and who their intended targets were. But we do believe they were intended targets rather than this being some random act of violence. Do you have any idea what kind of firearms they were using? Uh, the, just that they were handguns. We Initially, I know that there was a report that came out that there was a rifle involved. Uh, we have um, found nothing to corroborate that. Everything that we have found indicates that there were handguns being used. Given the number of people, we spoke to some witnesses said there were dozens of people fleeing. Um, it sounds like only two people injured is, is, a, is a pretty good outcome. Well, yeah, I mean, it's never a good outcome whenever you have any type of, of circumstance like this. And it's a shame that we have to respond to these types of instances. But um, as the fire chief mentioned earlier, we uh, we do a great deal of training as a public safety entity, not just police, not just fire, but we bring in all the disciplines. And our most recent training was a little over a week ago. And unfortunately, we have to train for these types, types of circumstance. And that training paid off today. I think the timeliness of our response, the way that police and fire work together, that we could safely get um, medical and fire personnel to the victims and provide them with some protection in doing so, probably contributed to the fact that our um, that the the casualties were relatively minimal and it sounds like hopefully those two those two individuals um, will come out of this okay do you think the uh, suspects were already gone by the time you guys got here or was your approach they're still in there and they could still be shooting well we approach every scenario as they're still there uh, we we always use extreme caution in the in primarily to protect the public and then to protect ourselves um, however they they're very well could be a likelihood that one or more of the subjects uh, may have left um, what would have been an initial perimeter uh, based on the, the time when we get the call. These ha these things happen in a matter of seconds, so that they the one or more of the, the folks involved could have left the mall before we even arrived, even though we're very, we're very, very close. And that's why we're working closely with some of our partners like BART to see if we can, uh, we're reviewing all kinds of footage, as you can imagine, and looking at all types of evidence to see if we can determine one, who was involved, and two, where they're at. There's cameras all over the mall? Yeah, we're looking at video footage right now. Uh, can you elaborate on the idea that this wasn't just random, that there were targets? Was this a gang thing? Is there, is there anything you can tell us that leads you to believe that? Yeah, I think it, it's way too premature to, to speculate on that. Um, just based on the scene, um, our officers believe that, uh, that yeah, there, there was some type of intent behind this. We don't, what, what the motive for that intent was, we're not entirely sure. That'll be something that'll be um, uh, delved out as we move forward. Um, but it, uh, you know, we never know what we're walking into. And and given today's environment, um, we always uh, have that active shooter kind of random shooter type scenario in the back of our minds. And uh, and you know, we probably a lot of us probably had that rolling into this. Uh, but it looks like it's something a little bit different than that. And just one more thing about the motive: um, is that is the is it because only two people were shot that makes you think that few people were targeted as opposed to just spraying the whole place? I think the the manner in which the the rounds were fired, uh, the location of of where the two individuals were, uh, basically the physical setup of the scene, I believe, is what leads our investigators now to believe that. Uh, that it wasn't just somebody walking through and arbitrarily firing rounds. Right. They were after somebody yes. or some people. Or, or yeah, or or there, or it may not have been a pre-planned event. It may be been something that that kind of fired up there um, uh, inside the mall. Who knows? Well, that's something that we're gonna have to work to find out. Okay, but again, not random, and the community is safe. There's right no now. indication that anybody walked through the mall just arbitrarily or randomly firing shots. No. Okay. All right, chief. Thank All you right. very much. Okay. I appreciate it. Right. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you.
Uh, can you tell us some more about the uh, the victims? Certainly, yeah. So San Bruno Fire responded to a possible shooter. Um, uh, request the San Bruno Police Department. Ultimately, uh, two alarms responded. Uh, fire resources, and we called the uh, uh, MCI. Um, upon arrival, firefighters worked with uh, police officers, what we call rescue group task forces. They formed up with police department personnel, went inside and removed two gunshot victims, had uh, gunshots to their lower extremities. They were removed from the building, uh, transported in an ambulance to SF General. I don't know any information on where they were stable when they left. I don't know any information on where they are now. Two other victims were treated for some sort of, uh, I don't know the issue, some, some, somehow related, but uh, um, they were not injured critically. They were treated, uh, examined, and they signed releases, and they're, they're free to go now. No fatalities? No. Not at this point, no. Okay. And um, your impression, were you able to go inside? I did not go inside. I was very quickly, but I, I, um, um, uh, I can comment on the, yeah. the, 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 the sure, that, that obviously, scene it's, it's a chaotic scene, yeah. um, but our police officers and our firefighters who are trained to do this ah! were very closely to form up those rescue group task force, get inside, find and locate those victims and remove them. Um, so we're, we're happy about that response, and we appreciate it. We had response from our neighbors, uh, South San Francisco, yeah. Central County Fire, Daly City, all the way up to the county. Additional resources responded on the fire side. Okay. And same thing I asked the chief. I mean, there were dozens, hundreds of people in there, and only two people injured and two more with really minor ones. Yeah. It's kind of surprising. Yeah, we're, we're lucky. Um, um, hope, hopefully that's it. Now we still have some resources on scene in case we locate some other victims. Okay. There could be employees that have some trauma related, so we'll, we'll keep some people here uh, as the PD continues to do their search. But, yeah, we're very happy with a uh, – this is obviously the best possible outcome.